BMW E46 engine cranks but does not start. Why does it not start? How to solve the problem? So please watch the full video. First check whether the fuel pump is working or not. Open the cover on top of the engine. Push the secondary valve on the fuel injector wheel inward with a small screwdriver and turn the ignition switch to the on position or start the engine. If there is no problem with the fuel pump or fuel line then there should be fuel pressure. See it's no problem with the fuel pump. Step number 2 Check the ignition coil. Check the coil with an adjustable ignition coil tester. Remove the ignition coil and then insert the adjustable tester inside the ignition coil like this. Connect one side of the tester wire to the engine body. After installing tester with ignition coil now try to start engine. If the tester fires exactly like a spark plug there is no problem. See that the tester does not fire. This means that either the ignition coil or the wire connection or the relay all fuse could be causing the problem. If you don't have an adjustable tester you can test the ignition coil with a spark plug. Connect the spark plug to the ignition coil and start the engine. No problem if the spark plug fires when starting. If the spark plug doesn't fire, there is a problem. Remove the engine compartment fuse box cover to check the fuses and relays. Inside the fuse box, this black colored ignition coil fuse is located. Pull the wire from the socket in this fuse box to check the fuse. Open the top cover by holding it with your hand in this direction. Check all the fuses in this box and replace any fuses if there is a problem. A fuse is blown so replace it and install a new fuse and check again whether the engine starts or not. See the problem is not resolved. Engine cranks but does not start. Now I will change the ignition coil relay and see if that solves the problem. See there are three relays inside the engine compartment fuse box. The light green colored relay is the ignition coil relay. Now I will open the ignition coil relay to change it. This is the new ignition coil relay. Now I will replace this old relay and install this new ignition coil relay. Install this new ignition coil relay. Keep ignition switch in on position to check ignition relay supply voltage. How to check ignition coil supply voltage with multimeter. Set the multimeter to DC voltage. Connect the multimeter red and black wires to the ignition coil socket. Connect the multimeter's red lead to the positive supply voltage on the left side of its wire socket on the ignition coil. The middle wire is the ground body signal to which connect the black wire of the multimeter. Ignition coil socket supply voltage 11.14 is now correct. Ignition coil is firing when tested with adjustable tester. With the ignition coil installed complete, I will now get inside the car to start the engine. Now I started the engine by putting the ignition switch on position to start the car engine, see the engine started now there is no problem. Watch the video inshallah you will be able to repair it. If you have any problem to understand something after watching the video, please comment in the comment box. On behalf of this channel, I send you my best wishes and congratulations.